Hey guys, welcome to another Corona tutorial. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a few examples of uh, using Corona Slayer material to create some advanced materials. Uh, we will be using this scene right here and we will be creating a few kind of old and worn materials. Uh, we're going to be creating some old coated wood, some polished metal with some dirt in concave areas, We'll be creating a glass with some engraved letters for the bottle right here and also some rusted old metal for the bucket right here. Okay, so let's get started. And first of all, we will start with uh, the polished metal on a lamp. So let's isolate our lamp. Let's uh, start our uh, Corona Interactive. And let's grab our Corona layered material. Okay, so when we are creating uh, layered materials rather than a single material with some procedural effects, we uh, get to identify all the materials, all the different materials of our layered material and prepare them separately. So for the polished metal, I will want some base, uh, base rough scratched metal then some polished uh, mirror layer on top of that and on top of that will be <clears throat> some dirty dark old metal material which will show up only in the concave areas okay so now let's start off with the base layer so corona layer material already comes with single material for the base layer so let's just assign material here and let's call this polished metal and let's call this uh, polished metal base okay so now let's grab some nice metal texture I will go with this one which looks like this and lower the filtering put it in the fuse and let's check mapping on our mesh and everything looks all right maybe the texture is a little bit blurry because because it's quite low resolution maybe let's grab some some better one and since this is not exactly square i'm gonna change the tiling in one of the axes so the aspect ratio is square because uh, this is probably unwrapped uh, in in square uv space okay so so once we have this uh, for the metal diffuse color is usually very dark so let's go ahead and do that right now okay and let's set up our material so uh, the base layer is going to be like 0.6 reflection 5 Fresnel and let's now map our glossiness <clears throat> So let's grab an output map so we can color correct it, put it into reflection glossiness. And <clears throat> let's make it really contrasty so there's some contrast in the reflection. Clamp it just to be sure. This looks actually quite pretty. Yeah, I think this, this, this looks like just nice for the base layer yep let's try just a little bit of bump <clears throat> that is way too much like 0 0.1 0 0.2 maybe yeah Yeah, I like this maybe it's the contrast is a bit too much and so is the shininess so let's go lower lower the contrast lower the overall level so we got uh, less of those perfectly shiny areas and let's ma minimize our material <coughs> put it here 
And now we can do our first uh, layer on top of the base. So <clears throat> for that, let's grab another current material. And again, name it polished metal. <clears throat> this is gonna be uh, coat. Put it on top. And we're gonna mask it with a fall off map. So first of all, let's just set it up like this and mask it later on. <clears throat> this is gonna be a lot shinier, so let's say 30. One, zero, let's make it mirror just for now and grab some scratches map. <clears throat> okay, this looks nice. This is how the map looks. Put it into reflection glassiness and color correct our map just slightly. Increase the contrast, increase the level. We want to have just a few of those scratches, but overall it's, it should be it should be mirror. 1.6 in this case looks like a sweet spot. We have some scratches here and there. Actually, let's maybe increase the tiling of the texture. <clears throat> so the scratches are a bit smaller. We can see the scratches all around. Maybe make them even less glossy. Yep, this is what I want. Mm, again, let's try a little bit of bump. Just a little, so 0.1, even less like 0 0.05. Okay, minimize our material, put it here. Let's grab our fall off and use it as mask zero since this is uh, layer zero. This is gonna be mask zero. <clears throat> set the mode to Fresnel and set it to like two. This is metallic, so it's not gonna be as low as car paint. So two is good. So now looking around, we can see we have this interesting shiny material that has this base rough base layer and coating layer on top of that actually let's not make it 100 percent let's decrease it zero is obviously only the base layer and here we can using the white color on the fall off map we can control the shininess of the of the coating layer 200 i think looks just fine <clears throat> Okay, I'm just checking all the angles if everything looks the way I want it to and so far it does. Okay, so as I as I said, we need one more layer which is going to be uh, just dark, old and dark metal, dirty metal. So let's let's set up that one now again some nice texture let's go to metal let's preview this one oh this doesn't look bad let's let's use this one put it in the fuse slot check it out again we're going to increase the tiling here Like this, it has some structure that's uh, that's obviously too obviously going in one direction. So maybe let's try something different. If there is something like rusty or yeah, this this is this could work. 
yeah let's go with this all right so for this layer uh, again I want it to be quite dark actually so uh, when I want to just decrease the brightness I will use level but if I want to decrease the brightness and also enhance the contrast I will usually use the curve which is something similar to decreasing the gamma of the picture I'm doing it for the texture and this looks good so grab another output use it for the glossiness since this is going to be dirty metal the reflection is not going to be very high and definitely Fresnel is not going to be too high so maybe like two reflection point three <clears throat> point 35 maybe uh, again very contrast reflection because it's very beaten material so maybe minus point 25 minus point three Yeah, this looks very, very dirty. <clears throat> Let's decrease the diffuse even further. Oh, actually, this is maybe too much contrast. Let's let's dial it back. Let's play with the level and just wait for the auto <laughs> save to finish. 0.7 looks nice and I'm gonna also map the reflectivity of this to get some more variance so reflection color this is way too much okay this looks like something I would want for the dirty layer dirty metal layer so let's use this one and now we need just some sort of mask so all right now we are gonna create some mask for the dirty layer uh, first of all i'm gonna take kernel material and make it red so we can clearly see how our layer is distributed let's grab a output map and let's grab a kernel ao which is here we will plug the Corona AO into the output. We will plug output as a mask of our layer one. And we can already see something is happening. So uh, concave areas we will not invert it. So we will start by decreasing the radius. And Actually, we want to invert it at the end here. Invert the result of all this. That looks better. Okay. <clears throat> and we are going to clamp the ambient occlusion. So it's a bit more spread from the, from the corners like this maybe decrease dial down the radius or the distance rather slightly and just add some variance to the distribution so grab another bitmap use whatever this for example so this is how our distribution map look and put it into ambient occlusion distance and you can see we have some nice like uh, broken effect so the dirt is not so not so uniform we can actually decrease the tilings to have the structure a little bigger like this and it may not may not need to be so sharp the fall off so i've uh, made the curve a little easier and now I'm going to increase the radius like this maybe even further like this we can also 
decrease the spread actually increase the spread yeah increase the spread to get it more into more areas like this and now i can just take our dirty our uh, dirty metal material and replace it with the for the uh, red material so the red material is now gone <clears throat> and we can see this is this is what we got we got some nice polished metal with some dirt on top we do not we did not we did not need to construct any complex shading network for that any you know me messing with uh, mixed maps we just have three simple materials our base our coat and our dirt or dirty metal on top and we have one mask and the other mask and so for this material uh, the shading network as we can see is quite simple and now we can control it for example the ambient occlusion or the rather the dirt seems be too bit much a bit too much sorry so let's dial it down to like two centimeters and now if we isolate the selection and select our table and take a look back we can see that dirt is popping up also from the bottom that's because uh, this area is occluded by the table and we can fix this easily by setting here use the same object only the same object occludes if we enable it the object occludes the mesh occludes only itself and isn't occluded uh, the corona ao doesn't compute occlusion from other objects therefore we get weathering only on our object okay so this is it i am going to assign it to all the other metal objects in the scene so here are some nice handles for the drawer and all we really need to do is to have some sort of mapping on it so just throw a quick box on it and now if i just put it put the material on it you can see we have nice procedural layered material and it looks just fine here is the lid for the bottle again just map it put material on it and we can see we have nice metal material as we would expect and same thing here again everything looks nice as we would expect it so let's get back to our camera since this is not fastest scene to render it's uh, interior with a lot of complex material i'm gonna just uh, set up uh, the re region just for the lamp and we will take a look at, the, at how our lamp looks uh, in the context of the entire scene let's give it a few passes and as we can see already we have some really nice realistic looking material uh, and uh, there's a lot of detail and we've managed to achieve it quite quickly using uh, the new Corona's uh, blend material. So in the next lesson, we will take a look at how to create uh, some procedural uh, coating, coated wood material using, again, the Corona layered material. So see you in the part two.